in Kentucky says this, I'm currently on baby step two, but I'm having a hard time reconciling the debt snowball on credit cards that can be paid off over time without interest accruing as long as I pay them off before the end of the interest free promo. But I was hoping to use the avalanche on my loans, not my credit cards. In my mind, I'd rather pay extra money on the interest heavy loans and diligently pay off my credit cards, thus taking advantage of the interest free promos. Side note, I've cut up all my credit cards and I'm sticking to my zero budget diligently. Could you help me understand the best course of action? Hmm. It sounds like Brittany wants to do her own course of action personally. Well, yeah, she's she's working her own plan. So what she's talking about here is the avalanche method of paying off debt, which says pay the highest interest debts first and make your way down regardless of the balance. The debt snowball method, which is the one that we've taught here for 30 years now, yep. is pay off the smallest balance first regardless of the interest rate. That's right. Which you know makes you scratch your brain when you go, well, it's 0% interest. Why would I even pay that off? You know, from my experience, and I believe the experience of the millions of people who have worked the baby steps and used, you know, the debt snowball as their method, we've learned that, you know, when it comes to money, Dave says it all the time, it's 80% 80 behavior, 20% head knowledge, right? Mm. And so there's something that builds up in our behavior when we're working the debt snowball. For me, it was about getting those quick wins, right, George? When you put them from smallest to largest, you're able to knock out those small debts quick and you feel like, oh my gosh, I can do this. You start to believe that you can actually pay off your debt. And, you know, we, we've said that personal finance is 80% behavior, 20% head knowledge. And the people who are making these arguments, they're focusing on the head knowledge. Mm -hmm. But I'm always going, if this isn't a life hack to try to take advantage of the 0%. You got yourself in a pile of debt. And so if you were so astute and disciplined to pay off the highest interest rate first, you wouldn't have gotten into debt in the first place. That's right, George. So there's a whole other mentality here going like, I'm going to hack the system that I trap myself in. Yeah. And so we found, and it's not just a Dave thing. It's not just Dave Ramsey says, and yeah, millions of people have done it. If that's not enough for you, there are new studies from Harvard Business Review, from Texas A&M, saying the debt snowball method works better. That's right. If Harvard says it, I'm biting. And uh, here's the direct quote. Snowballing your debts is from Chicago Tribune. Paying them smallest to largest, regardless of finance charges, might not make sense mathematically, but it just might work better according to their new academic study. Mm. And so Boom. this isn't anecdotal because we meet these people. I, I, don't, I haven't met someone who's like, I am an avalanche debt-free screamer. I just don't meet them. I don't meet them either. And I think it's because it's harder to gain traction, and so you stay in the process longer. And yes, on paper, you would pay less interest if you could do the avalanche yeah. method with discipline. But the truth is we are human beings yeah. and we need that progress. We are wired to feel that progress. We need to feel the win. And it's it's tough because when we think about money, our mind goes directly to the numbers. It goes to the math. But in a lot of cases, money is not mostly about the math. It's mostly about your mindset and you feeling like you're winning and you feeling like you can succeed. And definitely the debt snowball sets you up for that. Yeah, staring at a giant pile of debt that has the high interest rate and going, Ugh. all right, I got to tackle this one first. It's like me starting running by going, all right, I'm going to run a marathon and then work my way backwards to the 5K. Oh, gosh. That doesn't make sense. So why do we do that with our money? 